Hello everyone and welcome to a user requested Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series on replicating the skill system from the game RuneScape. The skill system in RuneScape involves a large list of skills with individual experience meters that, when they reach certain levels, unlock particular features like the ability to harvest certain trees or the ability to use or make a new axe. Due to the open-ended nature of the unlocked results, we'll focus primarily on building the leveling system and the UI to go with it. To save time, and keep this tutorial concise for viewers, I'm going to split it up into two separate videos, one for the UI and one for the core logic. Now, for the intents of this tutorial, we'll require a few things, so please make sure that you have the following. A 128 by 128 pixel image that will act as the backdrop for our skill panel. Also, three unique test images that represent the skill icons. Once you have those, import them into your Unreal project, and let's jump in. The key to the UI is modularity. Let's build a base UI element that we can clone for each skill we intend to have. Right-click in the content browser, user interface, and click widget. Call this wg underscore skill underscore meter, and open it up. I'm about to list off quite a few elements to add and modifications needing to be done to them. Once we can get them all in place, I'll go over each one and explain its purpose in the overall structure. So just bear with me. Start off by changing the way the widgets are viewed. In the top right of the viewport, change the dropdown from Fill Screen to Desired on Screen. Next, delete the Starter Canvas panel and in its place, add a horizontal box. Rename this to Main Panel. Next. Add an image as a child to this panel. Rename it to Icon and change its alignment properties to be fill both horizontally and vertically. Next, add a scale box as a child to the main panel element. Rename it to Size Conformer. Change its alignment properties to be fill both horizontally and vertically. Next, Add an overlay component as a child of the size conformer element. Rename this to Text Overlay Panel. While this is selected, in the Details panel, change the horizontal and vertical alignment settings to be centered. Next, add an image element as a child to this element. Rename it to Background. In the Details panel, change its alignment properties to be filled both horizontally and vertically. Under the brush details, change the image to the backdrop icon that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. To avoid the image enlarging to its original size, change the size settings to be 32 by 32. Next, add another horizontal box element as a child to the text overlay panel element. Make sure that this horizontal box is placed below the background element as Unreal organizes what's rendered first in ascending order. Rename this element to Text Panel. In the Details panel, change its alignment properties to be filled both horizontally and vertically. Next, we'll be doing the following steps twice. Add a Size Box element as a child to the Text Panel element. Rename this to Min Sizer. In the Details panel, change its alignment properties to be filled both horizontally and vertically. Under the Child Layout tab, enable the Min Desired Width setting and set it to 20. Next, add a text element as a child to this element. Rename it to Current Value. In the Details panel, change the horizontal alignment property to be centered and the vertical alignment property to be at the top. Also, set the text property to 99. Lastly, under the font dropdown, make sure to set the size to 12. Next, let's duplicate both the min sizer and current value elements and add them as additional children to the text panel element. Rename the new size box element to max sizer and the new text element to max value. Select the new max value element and change its vertical alignment setting to the bottom. Once you do this, you should see something closely resembling the RuneScape skill bar. Obviously though, that was a hefty amount of information, so let's go back through this and I'll explain. The main panel simply organizes all elements of the skill panel horizontally, separating the two major halves, the icon and the text. 
The size conformer element enforces that the entire right side of the skill meter scales proportionately. The text overlay panel allows us to display the backdrop image and render the text as an overlay, essentially granting us the ability to layer our elements. The background element is simply just a background art. The text panel organizes our elements to the left and right side of the right side of our entire skill meter. The min sizer independently scales the left half of the right side of the skill meter. It grants some flexibility in terms of how our text is positioned and sized. The current value element is the actual displayed property representing the skill level itself. Lastly, both max sizer and max value are identical to these in logic. Now, with that incredibly long explanation out of the way, we have a complete aesthetic skill meter. Although, of course, this by itself doesn't mean a whole lot. So let's actually build a skill panel widget that you can add to any existing HUD. Navigate back to the content browser, right click, user interface, and add a new widget. Call this WG underscore skill underscore panel. Open it up. Immediately remove the starting canvas panel and replace it with a scale box element. Name this main panel. This element merely holds the entire skill panel itself. Next, Add a uniform grid panel element as a child to this element. Rename it to meter organizer. In the details panel, change the horizontal alignment to be centered. And under child layout, change the slot padding value to one. This element is crucial as it will both automatically organize our skill meters using the available space, but also scale them proportionately together. Let's see how this works. In the palette, under user created, you'll find your custom skill meter widget. Drag a copy of this and add it as a child to the skills panel element. You will notice it becomes placed at the top left. Now let's add another. The second one will also appear in the top left. To change this in the details panel while selecting the second skill meter, there will be a row and column field change the column value to 1. As you do, you'll notice it moves over and now rests slightly apart from the first one. Try adding some more, changing the row and column properties accordingly. Now, this is the basis of our skill UI. Try opening up any existing HUD widget and adding your new skills panel widget as a child to it. When you do, you'll notice within a simple drag, you have an entire skill window appear and is both scalable and tweakable. Take a moment to celebrate. That's a wrap for part one. In part two, we'll dive into creating the actual code that will drive our skill system. We'll be exploring the use of data tables and duplicating the exact growth equation that RuneScape itself uses. Exciting stuff to come in part two. And that's it. Thank you once again for joining me. If you liked this video or found it useful, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Most importantly though, leave your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below as I'd love to hear them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.